There's one. There's a little bigger copy. Yeah, that'll play. I like that. Which live well you want him in? Uh, either one. I thought we'd put them in both. <laughs> I hope. I hope. I hope so too. <laughs> That's my longtime buddy Todd Huckabee back here in the back of the boat. Todd uh, guides over over on uh, Lake Eufaula most of the year, and in the fall of the year, in the winter, he comes to Fort Gibson, and we're on Lake Fort Gibson today. There he is. Found the one finally down there. You know what? I brought that thing up a lot shallower. I went down. I went down at the bottom. I brought it up about three foot. You know, you was talking about catching them 14. You forgot to tell me that earlier, Todd. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Jimmy, we're fishing 17 foot. I'll catch a fish 14. Go ahead and drop that thing down at the bottom and work it all you want. Oh, my life, Will. That's what you get for sticking me in the back of the boat. Uh, yeah, well, you got a 15 foot pole. Boy, those fish are gorgeous. Not a giant, but pretty nice crappie. solid fish. Pretty nice crappie. As hard as the bite is today, we'll take those. Absolutely. And not complain. Take every one wing. Definitely not complain. I might need to mark off 14 foot of line. Put me a mark here on my on my line. You reckon? Or maybe mark on the side of the boat. But my boat's black, so a black magic marker wouldn't help. Yeah. Well, we just... finally caught two in one spot. As I say, we. I, I'm using that word pretty loosely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like you say, as tough as it is, they all count one, they and, all it, count and, it's, one. and it's a we. That's a wee deal. That's where I look at it. Definitely wee. What's weird is that it's such a tough bite and missing so many bites that like that fish, I mean, he was hooked good. It's like every once in a while you finally will find one that it you can convince to Did eat it all the way. Hard, though? There's a good fish right there. There's a, that's what we're looking for. Find a big one. Oh, ooh, yeah. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Can I reel one of those in here in a minute? You bet. <laughs> mercy, mercy, mercy. Just keep the front of the boat up there on that good Just spot. keep it right there, keep you right back there. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, I'm in really big. good stuff right here, though. I'm, I'm getting hung up about every time down. It's perfect. He was on the other side of the boat. There you go. Yeah, boy, I tell you, I, dropped, I brought that thing up. I'm, you know, I might be fishing it a little bit too deep. Boy, look at look at that. Now we're having a hard time getting a bite. Uh, some of us are having a harder time getting a bite than others. But <laughs> but we're having a hard time getting a bite. Yeah, why don't you look where that roadrunner is in that big crappie? Look at that roadrunner there. It is completely down in his throat. I mean, I didn't even have to set the hook. I could have just wound him in. <laughs> That's a nice big Fort Gibson slab right there. You know, uh, Todd, the first tournament I ever won in my life, I won on Fort Gibson Lake. Uh, when I, was, when I was a senior in college, we, uh, we, they had a deal they called the Oklahoma State Championship back in those days. And I fished a tournament over on Lake Eufaula. I couldn't fish 10 killer because I guided there. And they didn't let guides fish on their home lakes. Guides could fish, but they had to go to a lake they didn't guide on. And so, so I went to Eufaula and I got fourth place. And they took, you qualified for the finals if you got first, second, or third. And I, I didn't make it, I was so mad. So I came over here and fished a preliminary the next weekend here on Fort Gibson. And, and what I'm telling you is really kind of a cool deal because we're here doing catching crappie today is uh, in, in those state tournaments, those state championships, you can catch largemouth bass, smallmouth Kentuckys, whatever. We didn't have hardly any smallmouth back in those days, a lot of Kentuckys, uh, spotted bass. You could catch uh, crappie, you could catch white bass and, and bluegill. And they were worth so many, the bass were worth more points per ounce, but but I came over here and fished Fort Gibson, and, uh, and we caught several bass, but I, I didn't think we had enough bass to win, and so I, I told the guy I'd drawn as a partner, I said, we need to find some crappie. And we went down there below the 51 bridge, and I found a brush pile out there, and I caught me, I think I, don't, I, think I caught 10, I think I caught five crappie. And, uh, and, and those, those five crappie ended up being what put me over the top, you know, and, and, and won that tournament. And that qualified me for the state finals, which was on Keystone, and uh, and I won the the state championship. But then I had uh, I had ten ten bass, ten white bass, and ten crappie. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get in the sun 
and I'm gonna put my coat on. <laughs> it, uh, it's, uh, we've gone from 65 degrees early this morning to cloudy, rainy, got poured down upon, and the temperatures dropped about. Well, it's probably only dropped about 10 or 12 degrees, but dropped about 25 with the wind. <laughs> that and you got me right over here fishing in the shade. I know you look smarter than that. All right, let's go well, get in the sun. <laughs> oh, there he is. Well, we anybody yet, but... I'm not impressed. You wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll take them when I'm paying attention, not paying attention. I know, I know, I know. To a story, you were, any of it. You were just kind of drifting along there with the wind, looking around, and all of a sudden there's a, there's a little thump. Watching squirrels. Yep, that works. Nothing wrong with it. Like I say, on those t tough days like today, I'll take an accident at any time. Absolutely. Oh, he, oh. he pulled off. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, fish. he pulled off. Look at that. He pulled my, pulled my dress down. That was the biggest one I've had on for sure. That was a good one right there. Same thing. I got. I will tell you what, since I don't have a long pole to measure how much line I got out. Uh, I dropped my road runner down all the way to the bottom, 17 foot of water. Let it hit the bottom. Raise it up three feet, and I'm 14 foot deep. <laughs> you get him? Yeah. He's out there in that deeper water. Yeah, over on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, that's about 18 out there, 19. Nice white crappie. Yeah, that one's out there a little, little deeper. He's still down 14 foot, though, huh? Yes, sir. I'll be done. Still that same depth. Even though the water's 18. 14 foot. It just seems like that's where they want it. Like I say, I've, I've tried all kinds of different depths. We've tried up shallow, out deeper. Over the last two weeks, that just seems to be the deal.